Yo, it's your boy Ron Ricketts. Great to be here on Spurred on TV. I'm going to give you a rundown of the top five players I played with when I was at Tottenham Hotspurs. Let's go. All right, guys, this is in no particular order. I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers, even though I love all the guys. I don't, I don't really, I don't give a damn what they're for anyway. But I'm going to tell you this. Here we go. Number one. Actually, we go number five. We'll go, we'll go reverse. Jermaine Defoe. Absolute top, top finisher. Possibly the best finisher that I played with. The guy just literally just thought about finishing. He doesn't, wasn't interested in linking up. He wasn't interested in playing one-twos, which I like to do. Goals, goals, goals. I remember when we was in England under 21s in the corridors, this guy, well, as I'm trying to do kick-ups with a ball, he would have a sock, way about six different socks rolled up in one, a chair put down, and he's trying to smash the ball through the chairs of the legs thinking it's a goal. The guy was mental. All right, moving on, number four, a guy not got any pace, but up here, faster than anybody. Teddy Sheridan. Teddy, what a fantastic player. I was fortunate to be able to come and play with him because I was 18 at the time, just moved from Arsenal. Um, he took me under his wing, gave me a lot of advice, and what a player. Silky touch, vision, just his ball, like the appreciation he had for the weight of pass. Like, went on to Man United, won the Champions League. What more can I say about Teddy? Teddy, shout out to you. I've been trying to call you. Pick up your phone. Number three, Robbie Keane. Keane! Kino, what a fantastic talent. This was, I, I, he reminds me of a street player. When I say a street player, I'm from the, the hood, growing up playing South London. Robbie Keane, proper techs, proper techers, step overs, drag backs, he's got the lot. And another thing why he's so special, and I, and I hold him in such high regard, he was the man that went to Glenn Hoddle and John Gorman and Chris Hewton when I was on the edge of the first team, was out in South Africa. Robbie Keane went up to Glenn, knocked on the door and said, listen, Ron Ricketts has got to be in the first team. He should be playing with us in the first team because if I was doing what Ron was doing and I wasn't getting in, I would have chucked it in. Shout out to you, Robbie. Never forgot that. Number two, this player that I'm going to mention now. A lot of the Spurs players that are around when he was there, they ain't going to like me for this. They ain't going to like me. But like I said, this is a raw talent. This is on talent for me. This guy was unbelievable. He was only on loan. If you don't know, you're about to know. Stefan Dalmat, unbelievable, unbelievable. Left foot, right foot, change of pace, dribbling with the ball by two or three, shooting, fantastic talent. Attitude problem? Yes. Did he slap a few? Did he spit a few? Yes. But he was a fantastic talent. Listen, listen to me carefully. The guy could have been one of the best, I'm telling you. But he had an attitude problem. Number one. I know, I know you know who this is. I know you know who this is. It's, it's going to be one person. It's only one guy. Personality was a bit, you know, laid back. You know, he was, he was laid back in the way he played. This guy was phenomenal. And, like, as a person, lovely. For, unfortunate that he couldn't go on and fulfill his career. Like, when I say fulfill his career, he couldn't have a longer career. It would stop for Inji. This guy is the one and only Ledley King. What a player. Left foot. Right foot, ball comes, boom, drops it. Right foot, right foot, boom. Left foot, just stops the ball on a six. But he couldn't eat. Lenny could do everything. He, Lenny, if if he wanted to, probably could have played number ten. He definitely could have played central midfield where he played. Shout out to Lenny King. Even Thierry Henry said it. He used to take Lenny used to take the ball of Thierry, and like he didn't even know he was there. He just step in front of him. What a football player. For me, he was one of the best, if not the best, England centre-half over the last 10 years. Media maybe never, never gave him that. I played with him, saw it at close quarters. Unbelievable. Shout out to Ledley King. And all you Spurs fans who logged on to Spurs on TV, make sure you check out Rolling With Ricketts. We're here, YouTube. How's it going, guys? It is me, Craig Mitch, and we are going to do a video for the top five Spurs pundits.